Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, I will explain how to send a notification through Power Automate when a new channel message is added in the Microsoft Teams team. So, quickly let's begin this. Type make.powerautomate.com in the browser so that it will automatically navigate to the Power Automate homepage if you have already logged in with your Microsoft credentials. Here, I will create an automated cloud flow in the Power Automate. Before going to that, I will explain the Microsoft Teams which I will take the example. So, these are the list of teams that I have in the Microsoft Teams. In the Teams, I will be taking an example of payroll management team where it has one owner and the three members. Here, my scenario is whenever a member is posted something in the group, then it should have to send a notification to all the remaining members except to the member who is posting in the channel. Suppose if Henrietta is posting the message, the remaining two members who is Miriam Graham and Gravy H should receive the notification. But in this case, Henrietta Muller shouldn't receive any notification. So let's see how to implement this one and go back to your Power Automate homepage and let's create a automated cloud flow here and provide the flow name. Take when a new channel message is added trigger after the click on the create button. Provide the parameters that is team and channel ID and team ID is payroll management team and the channel I will take as updates. This is the channel which is present under the payroll management team. After that I will get message details. For that I will use get message details flow action. Take the get message details flow action and in the same way add here the message and message. Take the message ID from the dynamic content which is present under when a new channel message is added. So take the message ID as a dynamic content and select the message type is from the channel. When you have selected the message type, it will automatically will automatically display team and channel. So we have to select the team and channel here. We should have to select the same team and channel that we have selected in the trigger. Same way I have taken here payroll management team as well as update channel. After that, to retrieve the, all the members present in the channel, we should have to take the list group members flow action which is present under the Office 365 connector. So take list group members. After that, add the group ID here. The group ID, I will be taking it from the dynamic content which is from the mes get message details. So select the get message details and see more. Here we can find the team ID. You can select the team ID from there. After that, get the user profile. Next to that, select get user profile flow action. Here provide the user principal name or ID. So I will be copying this, copying this expression. And after that, click on expression, insert expression and paste it here. And click on add so that it will add the user principal name expression here. And after that, in this flow, list group members will retrieve owner as well as members which are present in that group. So, I will be filtering now. I will take the filter array flow action so that it will filter all the group members other than who is posting in the team's channel. So, take the filter array flow action. After that, provide the value from here as list group members value and take from here Select the dynamic content which is under the list group members which is the user id. Take user id which is not is equals to and here in the choose value we have to provide here from the get message details of user id. Select user id from select user id under get message details from user id. This filter query will retrieve all the members and the owners who is present in the team channel other than who is posting in the team. Now I will take a flow action which is needed to send a notification. I will take here post a message in a chat or channel flow action. Select the parameter here as, as you can select according to your requirement. I will be selecting here it as flow board and uh, it should have to be post in as chart with flow board. In the recipient parameter, we should have to select email from the filter array. So take body mail. After that, it should have to be separated with the semicolon because there are multiple owners and members are present. So we have to take this one. 
in the message of this parameter i have taken this para uh, i have taken these details uh, like a post whom it is done by and subject of the post and message and posted date and time now the flow is ready click on save so click on save and test after saving the flow test it in the test flow window click manually and test see here i have already logged in to the other user who is henrietta muller and she is also the member of the team i will add a message here i will take it as a test and i will be posting this in the update channel like a test so henrietta is posting that so that every member of the channel should receive except the henrietta so click on post so now let's go back to the power automate flow now you can check when the flow runs successfully it has been successfully sent a notification to the all the members as well as uh, owner see here i am the owner so i also have been received by the post which is done by the henrietta muller so let's check whether the henrietta muller has got notification or not henrietta has doesn't got any notification only all the members of the only all the channel members and the owners will get the notification other than who is posting in the channel so this is how to send a notification when a new channel message is added in the microsoft teams team by using the power automate i think this video tutorial is helpful for you and keep watching more thank you for watching and for more video tutorials on sharepoint online power automate power apps and power bi please like share and subscribe to our channel click on the bell icon Thank you.